Hi, this is Paolo from the NB Academy and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make bases like the ones in the track Sufferation by DLR. So this is the original version and this is the base we're going to be making. But before we get started with the video, make sure you get subscribed to the channel, hit the notification bell to not miss any of our future videos and if you want to get access to the preset, you can become a member of Preset Pass. The link is in the description below. So with that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, so here I have an initialized patch and the first thing we need to do is to set up the oscillator. So we're gonna go into the wavetable editor of oscillator A and we're gonna drag our own waveform. So we're gonna add our fundamental. Then we're gonna add the third harmonic until we get something very similar to a square wave. And then we can add harmonic number seven you can be pretty subtle about it. And number nine. Of course, you can always go back into this window and experiment. In this case, let's leave it something like this. So, bit number three, around 55%. Bit number seven, 10%. B number nine, 5%. Makes sense. So now let's go into the main tab. Let's layer in a sub. Put the level lower. Now, when you're layering subs, it is very important to face align your waveforms. So let's bring the random all the way down. And now let's experiment with the face and we'll try to look for a change in this meter right here. So it looks like here in the middle is where we don't get any phase cancellation, which is very good. Cool, so now let's sequence our base. So for this, we're gonna map LFO number one into the level of this oscillator. We are already getting a very cool movement. Now let's set this into two bars, set it on trigger, and we're gonna increase the grid. And as you can see, this essentially divides the whole LFO into four main sections, which each of them is half a bar if we think about it. So let's think of the first bar. Let's make a quarter note right here, then followed by another one. So boom, boom, boom. There you go. Then let's make another one here. You can hold Alt to snap everything to the grid. So let's do that. Very cool. Let's add another quarter note. Let's add another one and another one. We can make this a bit more groovy. There's a very important argument about not staying in the grid when you're trying to create interesting rhythms in music. So you can experiment with all of these LFOs and try to make very interesting variations by delaying or offsetting different points until you get a desired movement. So I'm just gonna play around a little bit with this. So after a bit of fine tuning, this is what I got. Sometimes doing this manually can add a bit of a human element into it, which in the end makes more interesting sounding music. So once we have this movement, we can jump into the effects tab Turn on the hyper, just so we add a bit of width. Then we're gonna add a distortion, but instead of using two, we're gonna add the sine shaper, bring it down around 21%. And now let's map this into the drive. This should help us add a bit of dynamics into the sound. Awesome. Now let's turn on the chorus. Let's bring the mix a bit lower. Let's boost the filter. Nice. Now let's add some gain with a compressor. Let's boost the release all the way up. Nice. Be careful to not clip serum. Okay. Now let's add an EQ and on this EQ we're gonna use a bell to accentuate certain harmonics. 
And as you can see, this adds some extra movement in the sound. So let's set it around 236 Hertz and let's map an LFO into the frequency here. And this just helps us add that whoop whoop in the sound. Which is very good. Now let's talk about the pitch bending. So in this sound for this riff, we're playing an F sharp and we're bringing everything down five semitones like this. Something like that, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this and then automate this in my DAW. So the curve should look something like this. In the first hit, we keep the original pitch. Then we go down, minus five. And then until the end of the bar, we try to go back into the original pitch. And then at the first half of the second bar, we keep the same pitch, but then at the second half, we go down one or two semitones. And you can experiment with this. Now, another thing you could do is if you can add an extra EQ, use a bell to accentuate certain harmonics. Obviously, don't be that drastic, or if you're going to be, add something like a saturator after it to soft clip it. In this case, we're going to leave it like this. So that is going to be it for the sound and also for this video. If you liked it, make sure you get subscribed to the channel, hit the notification bell to not miss any for future videos. And if you want to get this preset and the project files, you can become a member of Preset Pass. The link is in the description below. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video.